Let's get into the organ settings from the Yamaha CK61. Welcome back, here we are again. I did say we'd get there, and we have. We're gonna have a look at the organ sounds now. You may have seen the previous two videos where I unboxed it, had a look at the, what was available. Second video, I had a look at the other sounds other than the organ. This keyboard was provided to me by Fair Deal Music in Birmingham, and it needs to go back soon. So let's have a go through and see where we are. Okay, so all I've done is pressed the organ sound. I notice every time I press it, it increments. Can you see that? It just increments the sound. That's interesting. So I've got an F and I've got a V, A and a V for starters. So we'll fix it up. No noise. Let's, let's start on that. Oh, wait, 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 hang on, hang on. Spin that there. There we go. H. H is Alan, right? Okay, so draw bars seem to be working. Look. Pretty nice, pretty standard, bit of key click there as well. Don't mind these, I don't mind these drawbars, they're okay like that, I must admit, nice way of doing it. No Leslie on, a lot of reverb on, right. I don't know if that reverb is a global reverb, it might be, so wherever that's set to, it, it's on. Let's get the Leslie on, slow. Makes a bit of a difference, doesn't it? Okay, so let's go into standard rock. Oh, not bad, a little bit, little bit tame, but not bad, is it? But bear with, I think the stuff we can do over here, you see. Interesting that the filters are on already there. Don't think they're doing anything, if I'm honest. Let's work on this for the moment then on whatever H is, Hammond, it's the auto, it's the manual setting, I guess. You can see over here you've got vibrato and chorus as you'd want to see. That's pretty good, that. I like that. Let's go to my favourite C1. That's really nice, I must admit, they've modelled that quite well. Uh, and percussion, okay, so. Soft and fast, lovely. So correctly, if you've got your hand down here, finger on, the percussion isn't striking. If you've got no hand on it here. So that's like it is on the C3 and on the XK. And like you always had to on the Hammond XB2s or whatever, uh, you're going to have to put a split in, aren't you? And it's going to allow you to play a left hand as if you would on a lower manual and still get the percussion to, to sound on the top. Moving over here, overdrive. Right, so it says it's, it says it's set to rotary A. All right, so it's one of those things where the setting's there until you turn the knob, right, and then the overdrive comes in. So... Looks to me like there are two types of rotary overdrive available available to you. And I don't know if you can see here, I don't know if you can see, look, it's changing the shape there and the size of the of the wave and the way it's affecting it. That's interesting, isn't it? Let's have a listen to that. That's interesting, isn't it? There's another one, Rotary B. Whoa. Okay, so A is probably uh, AU, AUY valve and AUX or whatever. So the ECC82, ECC83. The Leslie is the smoother valve, typically, and the Marshall is the, is the harder valve. So it seems to me like Rotary A is the creamy one. B 
Guess what? A is the the harder one. Right, let's turn it down a little bit. Starting to sound a bit more like an organ. Okay, and it goes to the maximum of. I think I can switch it so I could stop the Leslie there. that's really convincing isn't it and the leslie stop one is really convincing you press the slow button it takes the stop off Typical overdrive though uh generally speaking so i think this is what we're looking at now uh leslie right this is where this is where you uh you win or lose really leslie's so hard to recreate <laughs> Let me know what you think of that. Let's listen again. definitely some work going on there a lot of work gone into getting the fast and the slow the rise and the fall and also the bass rising up as well really interested to know what you think of those sounds so the basic uh, organ engine let's switch that off let's switch that off come on my friend there we go that's the basic sound that's coming out Verb, Aunt Leslie, come in. Leslie, up. And then we've got obviously the overdrive that we discussed. So let's go up. Okay, what else can we do as we go along? Let's have a look at this effect here. Okay, so it is working. Oh, that's interesting. So you can't switch on anything other than effect. So this, this then starts to be, I think this is extending the overdrive effect because when I switch it on, I've got, I've got things like resonance depth and uh, damper rate and different types of Ooh. you know what that is don't you is that a ring modulator ah right and this is moving that okay so this is now moving those across okay I thought you press that in order to get it to come down, but you don't. You turn the knob to get the different things. Different types of distortion in there as well. Not only you've got the overdrive section there, but you've got something here as well, and a compressor. Okay. Well, that really works, does it? Let's be honest. Uh, it works with uh, the string sounds and the piano sounds and things, but organ doesn't sound so good. Funny enough, organ doesn't sound great with a delay pedal, really. Not like that, isn't
I mean, it's lovely, isn't it? But you know how guitar players uh, press the um, delay pedal for solos and stuff? Organ players don't tend to. Why is that? Okay, then over here it looks like you've got a global reverb, you've got different types of reverb as well as you keep pressing the button, plate, hall, room, oh nice. Alright Nick, that's silly. Right now, uh, let me press that button again, it says V. V, 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 what kind of keyboard sounds like that that could be V? Can't imagine, can you? Uh, okay. It's a Vox, isn't it? It's a Vox concept. Of course it is. I wonder if the drawbars. Play like a Vox, yeah. That's pretty nice, doesn't it? V it is. Press that again. Oh, you got an F. F. What kind of an organ could start with F? I don't think it likes having the uh, Leslie on do you on that one. You want to switch that off. Okay, so you press it, it switches it off again. All oh, right, lovely. So, moving on. Okay, here we go. Pipe organ. Quite nice, wasn't it? Uh, I make all these things up in case I get copyright infringement. So um, that, that was nice. That's pipe organ one. Pipe organ two is going to be the same. No, it's not. A bit more breathy. That's stairway to heaven. That, that's stairway to heaven. Any kind of uh, sound. Yeah, yeah, I can see that, I can see that. Concert organ, there we go. Excuse me. Beautiful. Reverb is really nice in that setting, isn't it? Grandeur, grandeur. Some are set to uh, have Leslie, some aren't. You can see that, can't you? Moving on through. Oh, it's more fluty than anything else, isn't it? This is our ah, clarabelle and flute. Yep, okay. Reeds. Soft reeds. Is what it says on the tin church organ. Really? Yeah. 
Yeah, okay, yeah. Go children too. Church organ three, okay, so they're putting a bit of work into the church organ scene, right? Church organ four. Are we going to get a five? No, we're not. We're going to get an accordion. So what we can do now is we can throw this out the window and burn it. No, it's okay. Let's let's try an accordion. Okay. Uh. Okay, I mean, if you're recording and you want an accordion sound, I'm sure that is lovely. It's set. Okay, yeah, I can see, yeah. Okay. Some of those sounds are fine, uh, pretty good actually. Other sounds are accordions. So back onto uh, the manual. And one more throw of the dice. Get this as more as organy as we're going to get it, I think. Okay, so there's a bit of volume coming up as well on that. Okay, we have done the organ section. If I get a bit of time before I have to take this back to Fair Deal, I'll drop it through, let's say, a Leslie 122 or something like that and see how that sounds. How does that sound to you? Brilliant. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, if you haven't enjoyed this, uh, I hope you go and enjoy something else today so you have a good day at least. Please like and subscribe if you do like, and if you would like to subscribe, it makes a big difference to me and my channel, like I always say. Thanks so much. I'll see you again next time. Cheers.